Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Profusion Cosmetics Lash Out Loud Mascara. And I purchased this directly off of their website. I'm not sure if they're available in store. When I Googled it, I did not see that they are in the store. So I went ahead and went through their website. So I will just go through with the pricing information. So the mascara itself is only $4 and then the standard shipping is $6.95. So overall I paid $10.95 for the mascara, which is not a bad price. Um, typically in like the like Walgreens or wherever, you'll pay like $8.95 or maybe $8.95 to $10, sometimes even $12 or $14, depending on the mascara. So that's not bad and I did not see it on Amazon. So, they only have one mascara available on their website. I looked on there, they only have one option, just the Lash Out Loud. Um, they offer length, volume, and lift, and here's the packaging. And the instructions are pretty simple. It says, apply the Lash Out Loud from the base to the tips of the lashes. Allow the lashes to snug in between the brush. And then you're just going to apply it. And then it also recommends doing a second coat. So I went ahead and already applied this to this eye. So I didn't apply it to this eye. I just have eyeliner over here and that's from the lashes I was demoing in the other video. So I want you guys to look. Let me know if you see a clear difference between the two. Okay, so I want to be 100% transparent about this. I like the L'Oreal mascara better. I think I had more length with that mascara. I think that the eyelashes, my eyelashes took better to that one. They actually lengthened. To me, they were thicker, and I just like that one better overall. And because I got that on Amazon Prime, I paid $8.99 for it. So overall, it was cheaper. Plus, since I have Prime, I didn't have to pay for shipping or anything. This is not a bad mascara though. When you take into consideration, it's only $4. If you were able to find this in a store, which I'm not sure if they're in stores, um, I didn't see anything when I looked, but if they have this somewhere for $4, this would be cool. What might help this mascara could be maybe a primer. Um, someone told me before that for mascaras, that if you put a primer on your lashes first, that it helps it to take better. So that might help. I did not see that they sell a primer, but that could be something. And I do like the spoolie that's included in here. The spoolie is very nice to me. Um, it kind of curves in and out, so you can get every single lash coated. So, I mean, that is a pro. And also the packaging is nice. I mean, these are all, these are all like minor things. Like nobody, I mean, although we like having nice packaging, when you're paying for a $4 mascara, I don't think people are buying it to get cute packaging. We just want it to work and do the job. Um, but overall, I think I would stick with my L'Oreal. I think this mascara will be fine if, you know, I'll probably put it in like my bag is just a backup one or something I'll use, or maybe in combination with another one. But I think the L'Oreal has this one definitely beat if you're looking for more volume and more length. I will do a demo on camera to show you guys the application. From what I see, this is not a tube mascara, so you're gonna have to use some makeup remover to take this off more than likely. So just so you know, uh, the two mascaras are easier to remove, I think, because they just slide off.
I'm gonna let the first layer dry. You guys can see by my face. I'm unimpressed. I am unimpressed. Um, so yeah, I mean, not like to completely like drag the mascara or the company or anything. Cause I mean, granted it's $4. Just, it's, it's not anything to write home about. It's not worth ordering and waiting for it to come in the mail. It's not worth the wait. I mean, you could go into Dollar Tree and get something similar to this, honestly, you know, and save your time. So unless you just see it in the store, I would not recommend paying that shipping cost. I, I mean, if you've had a different experience, let me know down in the comments. Let me know, maybe I'm using it wrong. Is there some type of primer you recommend with it? But just as the mascara alone, it ain't all that. It's just okay. Shout out to my girl, Julia. She did recommend this. And also, everybody keep Julia in your prayers because she got surgery today. So hopefully this video keeps her entertained because maybe she did this to troll me because Julia likes to troll. So this must have been some type of a sick joke because she really came for me with this mascara. Or maybe she likes it, I don't know. Julia, you let me know if you really like this mascara. Let me know how it worked for you, maybe. It just doesn't work well for me. But you let me know how it worked for you if you did buy it. If you didn't buy it, girl, don't do it. Thank you guys for watching my channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And of course, if you have anything you want to recommend, you want me to try, let me know down in the comments or message me, whatever. I will be happy to purchase it and try it out. Don't recommend no $300 products or have me reviewing a fur coat because I'm, I am, I'm using my money. I'm not rich, okay? All right, thank you guys, bye.